Hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson to the Doing It Easy channel. Uh, in this lesson, uh, I'm going to create a CRUD application uh, that is in the advanced template. It's a little bit different from the basic template. So I will do that uh, and I will sp speak about relationships and how to all about that yes so first thing i did was before you didn't see this uh, i created three tables actually company the branches and departments so in the structure you can see in the design view a company has branches so there is a relationship uh, as you can see the branches table have company's company id and of course a department is related to a branch so the department has a branch branch id and of course the department is has a company id as well so i'm going to create a crud uh, uh, the create read and update delete functions for all three tables so let's get started i'm going to since this is the front end of it uh, i'm going to create something in the back end so let's get into the back end uh, and check it out okay i have login so my username is and my password is this okay so let's get into the g module um g okay so the, as you can see the new g tool uh, so let's create model name is first we have to create companies model name companies namespace app models hmm this should be backend models and let's check out and let's generate oh I have to give permissions hold on I have to give folder permissions it says that uh, models uh, they can't write into the directory model so CD well, advanced backend and the name of pool is models and of course I'm going to give permissions for the views directory and the control directory so uh, I want the controllers and the views okay so let's do this again okay we have actually created the model let's create for branches branches and of course departments preview and generate okay so let's check out the files that we have created so far so go to back end and models as you can see the companies uh, let me close all of this and this okay companies has a relationship so you get this is a relationship uh, a company has many branches and this company has many departments yeah these are the attributes and yes the company is done model this is branches model like again there is two relationships and departments has a branches and a company's department uh, companies and branches okay so let's create the crud application so here there's a little bit of change so when we are calling the model class what we have to do is we are type in the namespace backend models company and search also backend models company search and the controller class is uh, why is company backend companies controller let's preview this yes we want to generate all of this so generate. and we have to do the same thing for branches 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 and branches 
Trade Direct and of course the departments. And generate. Okay, so I did I create for branches? Let me check. Branches. Yes, I did. Okay, so let's take a look at the files. We did look at the three models, and we will have three controllers the companies, the branches, and the department controller. Okay. Uh, um, as you can see the namespace it's a uh, back-end controller so this is not part of the front end this is on the back end of the advanced template this uh, as I told you before the advanced template has three main features the back end the common and the front end we can use uh, models in the front end of the back end so to do this we have to do something like this use front end models the model that you need from the front end application so we are not going to do that right now okay so that is that uh, next uh, oh there's another one special thing as well the companies there is another the search is done by a separate file so company search we can take a look at that in the models directory uh, company search as you can see this is the search function in a separate file okay so let's take a look at what we have oh and there's something important I should tell you which is great uh, it's a new thing in G version 2 uh, as you can see in the company there's company status uh, it's an enum with the active and inactive uh, and act active and inactive data uh, in G version 2 in the G crud generation uh, we actually get uh, the enum converted to a drop down list automatically which is really really nice as you can see they have automatically generated a drop down list for a enum so that's good uh, i mean that makes it a little bit more easier for us yeah so let's um so yeah so let's check it out just enter some data abc company email is abc company address is some address oh and we have to remove the created date so they are getting going to get the company created date from the server itself so get rid of the form input here so go to views companies form and get rid of the created date um, I will later on uh, show how to add a jQuery UI date widget uh, date uh, picker uh, to the form but not right now so let's make um, let's get this down over here and let's save it and let's create model company create a date and give it a date yo yeah, month and date save I think it's a date time or is it a date it's a date time so um, sh M S. okay so refresh this again as you can see the date is removed and of course we can to show the company state let's put something in here as well it doesn't it doesn't look nice when you clip it back so go to the form and go to here and say prompt say status fresh okay so again the company name is abc mail power okay some address we typed in some address and the status is active great okay see uh, so you have the update and delete functions two buttons and this is the view file of the company let's go to the grid here you can see uh, the data that's been shown here here we get the uh, grid view function actions the view update and delete mm, what else we do get the um, 
searching working as well already working and as you can see we have correctly added the date and time so let's remove the company id from the table it doesn't look nice you don't want the company id to be shown so let's go to the views and index and remove company id So the serial, the one, two, and three comes from this class secret serial column. If you remove that, you will get, you can get rid of this. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah. So this is that. Uh, let's move on to the branches section. So index r equals branches, and let's create a branch. So we need a company ID. So to do this, for now, let's create one put one because our company ID is one I think no it's actually two so put one here later on we are going to create in the next lesson actually I'm going to create a drop down list uh, to get the values from the table company so that we can select when we are creating a branch we can select the company and add then at the branch and address and create a date and status okay again here I'm going to remove the create a date from the branch section so let's get a save and close 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 so let's go to the branches form get rid of the created date and let's add the status okay and go to the index remove this as well we don't want the branch ID to be shown on the grid and what else okay go to the controller we need to go to the controller and assign the created date for the model so save model what is the name created branches created date I think yes and for date I M D and H minutes and seconds save okay let's refresh this let's add the company to right for now and say main branch and branch address is some branch address and give the status of active okay so now we have a grid view now as you can see uh, in the grid view we are shown the company id this is not what we want we want the company name to be shown it's really easy since the branches can model has a relationship let me let me let me okay the branches model have a relationship to the company's company uh, company's table so we can easily do this uh, remove this we are going to say companies company and period mark and the name of the company company name as you can see we get the company name not the address itself so later on as you can see the search field has been removed uh, later on in a later tutorial I'll show how to uh, add this um, add I mean search uh, make this grid searchable by the company name so uh, yeah I think uh, sorry I think we did a lot in this tutorial uh, as you can see this is a mainly a setup of what I'm going to teach you next uh, so I have to add these covered up uh, so we are to uh, we are to create actually a department as well so let's do that and finish off mm, let's go to the departments form let's close these things off let me copy this since we are going to want that for the departments as well so let's go to the department's controller and add this so this is going to be a department created date department created date and let's move on our model save to after this okay mm, and in the department's form okay let's remove this and let's say status again 
may be in the next tutorial I'm going to make this a drop down list but for now let's keep it as branch as branch and attack as a text input so it's easier for me to move on or move forward refresh create department and we are going to say branch ID is what branch okay ID is 2 so branch ID is 2 department name is let's say IT department company ID is 2 status is active okay so here you go and of course we can change the ids to the department name and branch name so let's go to index again this model has a relationship to the branches so i'm going to say a relationship name branch and branch name and of course companies company dot company name Let's save and refresh. As you can see, uh, the branch name and the com department name. Oh, sorry, the branch name and the company name has been shown in not the ID, but the uh, name is shown of the branch and the company. Okay, so we'll get rid of this as well. We don't want that. Refresh, and there you go. And let's move on the company name to the top. There you go. Refresh. Okay. So that's it for today. Uh, stay tuned for the next lesson. Uh, I'll be teaching you how to uh, add a create a drop down list uh, in the next tutorial. Okay, stay tuned. Uh, subscribe. Please do comment and like my tutorials. Have a good have a good day. Bye.